tonight we've gone overseas again to prepare and produce another of our plays for you. And tonight's play, as you can guess from this thematic dagger here, is a spine chiller. And in just a minute, I'll be back and tell you more about it. Now, in tonight's play, I beg you not to be led astray by what you believe will happen, because the plot takes several sudden and surprising twists. The story was produced in Europe, in a largish Bavarian town, to be exact. And I'm going to play what is, for me, a very different kind of part. A real deep-dyed villain. As a matter of fact, there's no hero at all in the story, except the moral, which will become clear at the very surprising end. So may I invite you now to watch our play, aptly titled, The Murderer. Here in this peacetime southern German town of ours, war has left roots behind. A dragon crop of men with a taste for killing. Men for hire. Men whose business is murder. Whose price is high, whose risks are coldly calculated. Men like this man, with murder in his heart. But murder begets murder. Evil can cancel evil and bring its own reward. These are the hands of another murderer, a professional killer of high price. Warsaw double solitaire, am I right? You are. Well then, six goes over there. Okay. Name? Peters, Carl Peters. Can I find you in the telephone book? Yeah. That's your real name, eh? Of course. Well, you're unique, Mr. Peters. What's the matter? Got egg on my chin or something? You're different from what I expected. Well, what do you expect? Uh, horns or a silence around my nose? It doesn't meet the legend every day of the week. Well, the week isn't over yet. Uh, coffee? Coffee. Try coffee. Well, what's your proposition? I'll be blunt with you. That's a good start. This is a strictly personal assignment. There's a woman. She's married. You're not unique anymore. I want her husband killed. I gather you don't like him. Will you do it? Your briefing's been bad, Buster. I'm just a small businessman operating in a big way. Operate all over the place, but with big deals only. Here, in China, or Timbuktu, anywhere. But only big deals. Life's too short for... For what? Well, family affairs like this gets too complicated. I'm surprised they sent you to me. I'll make it well worth your while. You're wasting my time. If you should change your mind, you can always phone me. Hi. You forgot to pay for your coffee, lover boy. No. I'm economizing. Good for you. What's your board? Everything on the list. Butter, coffee, sugar, yep. and Turkish delight. Why, sure. And what about food? <laughs> you know you can't live without it. I know all my weaknesses. All of them? Yep. No, you don't. Supper's almost ready. Oh, good girl. I'm starving. <laughs> you know, altogether, your most considerate husband. Huh? How come? Calling me every evening before you come home. Oh, that's just to put you off your guard. One of these days I won't do it. And I'll catch him red-handed. Did you have a hot day? Well, the usual kind, you know. Guys in and out. Any calls? No. No calls. You sure? There was one just now. But there was nobody on the other end. Wrong number, I guess. Well, you look tired, sweets. What's the matter? Oh, it's nothing. Oh, come on. Tell the old man. I'm just... I don't know. I feel it's the end of my tether. Well, how long has this been going on? Huh? Some time now. And you haven't told me. I didn't want to worry you. Well, what are you talking about? I want to know when you're down. You should have told me. Huh. I'm fine. Really, I'm... Oh, I must switch the stove on. It's silly. But I wish we could go away for a long vacation. I know, I know. It's tough. I just get used to keeping house in Paris. 
and we go to Edinburgh, then to Copenhagen, Cairo, now here. Can't we go home? Wherever that is. Stay. Sure. Sure we can, and soon too, but... Oh, darling, what's the matter? This work of yours. You never tell me what it is. Plastic sausages. I have a guy who makes them, another guy who eats them. I know it's dangerous. Oh, fooey. Then why do you wear a gun? And this mysterious phone calls. And being so on edge every time you pull off a deal. Oh, Artie, I can't stand it any longer. Can't you give it up and take me away? Somewhere peaceful. Up in the mountain. What about the Tegan the Hotel? Where you took me that time before? It's not expensive and it's not far. Sure. So I got a deal on now, a big deal, but I could, uh, I could take you up there in the morning, uh, come back after lunch, settle up things, and then join you again tomorrow night. Sure. If we could only settle up for good. I'll see what can be done about it. Meanwhile, what about some supper? Mm. Five minutes. All right, girl. Given to see me, uh, do you speak English? I want to speak to Mr. Peters, Carl Peters. Speaking? Okay, Casanova, maybe you can make it worth my while. I'll meet you in the same place in half an hour and we'll talk, huh? Okay. You are not going out again tonight, are you? Well, you want to go tomorrow, don't you? I can get it all cleaned up tonight. I'll be back in an hour. I'm a neat guy. Leave no traces. Give me a kiss. I'm a neat girl. Leave no much. Haggle. My price is five thousand dollars. A lot of money. Well, that's what it costs retail. You don't quibble with plumbers, do you? Special services, special fees. Four thousand. And you don't really love this lady. All right, five. You're mad about her. Half down and half when the job's finished. Good. When can you do it? When do you want it? Tomorrow. I'll try and fit it in after lunch. Um, is he in town? Yeah, at least today. See, his movements are irregular. <laughs> That's a temporary condition. You got any pictures? No, I haven't got one. Well, how do you expect me to recognize him? By the R.I.P. written on his forehead? I've never seen him myself. You see, I, I live out of town. And she always comes to my place. She hasn't got a picture either. Careful guys, both of you. You expect me to believe that? Does it matter? I'll point him out to you when she tells me where he is. Mm, not so good. my friend, as I told you, my enterprises are worldwide, and the forces of international law have no record beyond my birth certificate yet. I intend to keep it that way, okay? Okay. I said you were a man who didn't mind taking chances. Well, if you want a chance, I'll hold it in the stadium during the annual police games, but it will cost you more. When you do it, will it look like suicide? If you want it, I'll make it look like he choked on a coffee bean. I'll, I'll call you as soon as everything is ready. Probably tomorrow noon. When you get high noon, I'll come in a cowboy outfit. Tell me, Sullivan, how did you get into this business? Perseverance. It was a nerve-wracking experience for me. We'll take a shower. How can you joke about this, Sullivan? I've got a playful nature. Pinch your cheeks, you look pale. Bye. Peters. Yeah, you forgot to pay for your drink. Good. I said wonderful. <laughs> You're a darling. 
This is just what I needed. Well, I wish you wouldn't keep things from me. I promise. No more. I'll hold you to that. Go down in to get yourself a drink while I'm back. I'll join you. Now you're talking. Have another one. Uh, make it two. Well, the face is familiar, but I don't get the location. You seem to have come a long way for a drink. What are you doing here? Getting some fresh air. Did you follow me? What are you talking about? I hear bells, but I don't get the tune. Hey, you know. Listen, Art Sullivan's my name, and my business is pleasure. I was coming back to see you after lunch. Ah, well, frozen. He's here. Who's here? He is here. Are we doing an act or something? But it's perfect. It's destiny. Can you do it now? I'm strictly on a vacation till 1 p.m. What's your hurry? I can't stand it any longer, this way. Why don't you shout a little loud? Oh, what's I? Was I shouting? Loud. Oh. Now, how much more is it worth to you to uh, not have to wait? Well, let's say uh, another thousand. You're fading out. A thousand and five? You're reaching me. Now look here, Sullivan. Don't play with me. Now, talk to me gently, Peter. Guys who talk tough to me, I, I just never liked that. Something inside me snaps like that. Now, what does he look like? I still haven't seen him. You don't need me. You need an optometrist. I mean, I, I have seen him. I admit it but only from a distance. He was getting out of his car. But I can find out his room number if you want to check the layout. Well, that does sound very professional, doesn't it? <laughs> Seen any good movies lately? Oh, excuse me. Sure. Your move. Hello, sunshine. You were quick. I couldn't stand being away from you. Ah. <laughs> Why did he run away? Who was he? Him? Oh, he's just a business acquaintance. He seemed shy for a businessman. Yeah, shy of paying for drinks. Hey, uh, waiter. No, I won't have anything. You sure? Just you. How much do you love me? Plenty. Don't you know? Oh, yes, I know, but sometimes I have to hear you say it. It's a pleasure. Don't you have to hear me say it? Say what? That I love you. Sure. Once a year. That's all I need. Aren't you ever jealous of me? Say, what's going on here? What, why ask that? Just for fun. Sure, I'm jealous. Every once in a while. Oh, I was thinking of my brother. Yeah. Kurt was a good guy. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, here, here. Take it easy, sweets. I suddenly thought of him and how he was killed. You gotta forget that. If you hadn't come along then, I don't know what I'd have done. It was strange, that, And yet, you and I, we'd hardly met. Poor God, to be shot down in car only could find out one day who it was. I'd do anything just to get him, whoever it was, and pay him back. Hey, this 
This is a fine way to start off on our holiday. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm talking like this. You finish your drink. I'll go up and finish unpacking. No, no, you stay. I'll be all right. After a brief message from our sponsor, we'll be back with the second act of our play. Hold you in the engine. Yes, yes. All right, then. Come on, quick. There's no time to waste. Waiter. Want a tip? You got a wife? Lock her up. how it happened. He'll figure it out. He's a smart man. He won't figure out what's in his engine. I think I can see something now. Yes, I think so. Is it him? Well? Oh, yes, it's him. How fast are we going? 80 kilometers per hour. He's hitting about the same, isn't he? If he keeps the distance, yes. All right, move up to 100. Yes, ma'am. Now 100. What's the matter with him? Why doesn't he pick up speed? I don't know. He's got to hit a hundred for it to detonate. Slow down, let him get closer. My down, 60. He's coming closer. Why shouldn't it work? I don't know anything. You said to speed on it before I put it in, didn't you? 
Of course. When he hits a hundred, he blows up. He's playing with us. He's slowing down again. What's his idea? I don't know. Slow down too. Right. Back to 60. Wrong. Let's get away. Wait, he'll come soon. There's no sign of him around that bed yet. Stop! No, we'd better leave him. Do it, I say. Stop on and expend about a hundred yards off. But keep in gear. He must have stopped. Do you think he's crashed already? No. You'd have heard it. Where did you get that gun? It's his. I took it. Are you mad? I wasn't taking any chances. Don't you see? Maybe that's why he won't come after us. Back up the road till I tell you to stop. Don't your horn. going to sit here and... Yes. What are you waiting for? Come and get us. Murderer, coward. Are you scared without your gun? Easy, baby. Danny. I got plans, too. Well, wouldn't you hate him and come along with me, even if he hadn't killed Kurt? What do you mean? I mean, after all, we're all in the same boat, aren't we? If it wasn't Kurt, he'd killed him. There were others, plenty of others, weren't there? He's no better than I am, is he really? What are you talking about? I don't know about anyone else. I don't know about you. What do you... For the love of heaven, speak. Tell me, quickly, quickly. Did you think that was my only gun, you two? Did you think I didn't know you were trying to muscle into my business? I know I had competition, but I didn't know it was so close to home. Wait! Save your steps, sweetheart. I can drop you from here, too. Don't out. Wait. I didn't know. He said you killed Kurt and... I killed Kurt? He said I killed him. No, oh, my dear. He may have been one of your boyfriend's clients. He wasn't mine. But at least I never involved you in that side of my life. You were the only one, the only clean thing, the only one who ever fooled me. Don't shoot me up. I can explain. Please don't kill me. Why not? Give me a few good reasons, baby. I wanted to revenge court. I didn't know about anything else. It was horrible. You must understand. Taking to the hospital just as quick as I can. Don't lie. You mustn't. <gasps> quiet now, quiet. Just lie still. I'll be out of the country by tonight. I'll be all right. Don't worry. Now, I understand. No, you don't understand. If you dare, stop. Please don't go. Shh. Relax now. Relax. Everything turns out for the best, darling. Somehow.
try him back again all in one piece, although a little of a worse for wear. <laughs> now, the next play, I promise you'll be altogether different because it's about... Will you come and see it for yourself, will you? Till then, good night. 